everyone. I'm coming to you from Coots Store. I'm in the area of Brock's Gap in Rockingham County, and uh, we're also uh, near a place called Turley Town, uh, which is probably about six to eight miles away from where we're standing right now. Specifically, we are standing near the area of the 5th New York Cavalry and 18th Pennsylvania camps on October 6th of 1864. What has happened is this is during the burning of the Shenandoah Valley. What has happened is Phil Sheridan's army has defeated Jubal Early's army at 3rd Winchester, uh, the 3rd Battle of Winchester. They then defeated them a couple days later at the Battle of Fisher's Hill, and they have pushed Early's army out of the area. Early's army has now retreated uh, all the way up the valley uh, to Stanton, past Stanton, and Sheridan has been able to do whatever he wants. Uh, once he has done that, he's going to get down to about the town of Dayton and he will end up burning uh, many farms down there. And he'll start marching back down the valley toward Winchester, burning farms and mills and uh, capturing livestock as he goes. He's going to split his army up into columns. One of those columns will be under George Armstrong Custer and will be coming down the back road. They will be coming here to Coot's store. Now the Confederates, under Thomas Mumford, uh, there is the cavalry, they are nipping at the hills of these Union troops that are burning these barns and fields and capturing livestock. And the reason they're doing so is this is their home. Many of these guys uh, on the Confederate side that are seeing this happen, this is happening to their homes, uh, to their neighbors. So they're a little more incensed and they're going to try to hit the Union Army wherever they can and whenever they can. At about 3.30 on October 6th, they're going to hit them right here. Uh, Mumford is going to order the 2nd Virginia to dismount and attack the 18th Pennsylvania and 5th New York. And they are then going to be backed up by the 4th Virginia Cavalry. This attack looks to be a significant Confederate victory as they are going to be able to push the Union troops out of the way, push them across Dry River, then push them across the Shenandoah, and some of these men are going to run up here into the mountains to get away from the Confederates. In the meantime, Custer's going to see what's happening, uh, and he's going to panic a little bit. So he's going to bring up, start calling for artillery. He's going to bring up artillery on the bluffs behind me here. And he's going to start shooting that artillery into the Confederate lines. Now the Confederates uh, had actually left their artillery at Turley Town. Again, about six to eight miles away. As this battle is going, the the artillery has went into camp. So, trying to get them here to counter the federal batteries uh, is just not possible at this time. The federal artillery is going to drive off Mumford and his troops, and because of the lack of artillery, he is going to have to retreat. Now, after this battle, Custer will continue on the next day into Shenandoah County, but the Confederates will keep following them, and there will be several little skirmishes all the way uh, down the Shenandoah Valley toward Winchester. Uh, so if you get a chance to come out, there's no signs here. There's very little written about this uh, engagement. It's not a large engagement, but it's a neat little place to come. It's a place I've grown up around and uh, been to several times. So if you get a chance, definitely come out here and uh, just view what's still here. <laughs>